All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Fantastic Short Story Society. We have Caitlin back with us again. Thank you for joining, Caitlin. Thank you for having me. Scott Marcus. I'm here, too. You're here, too. <laughs> We're going to uh, react to another trailer called Strange Darling, uh, directed by Giovanni Rubisi, who I love. I think Giovanni is just fantastically talented. Yeah. Um, this is, I think, his directorial debut. I could be incorrect where that's concerned, but I think it is. You, you, well, you, you, you're you incorrect that he didn't direct this one. He's the cinematographer on this that's one. Right. He's the, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is even more in, impressive Wild. to me. Uh, yeah. Not to take anything away from directors, but it, the the an actor turning director makes logical sense. They work with actors and vice yeah. versa all the time, but a cinematographer is such a... It's, it's both visually creative, but then you need the technical know-how of what ends, the f-stops, all of, there's yeah. a lot of tech that you need to know too. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, the reason I wanted to, I sent this to Scott because there was, the, I only read a really short review of, and really just the headline from IndieWire saying uh, potentially one of the best horror movies. In years. What is it? In years, yeah. Yeah, uh, um, Giovanni Rubisi turned cinematographer for the best American horror film in years. Not even one of the best, but the best. Yeah, right. In right. That's a, yeah, that's a big statement. <laughs> Well, let's fill those shoes now. <laughs> right, right. Um, I will say, I accidentally saw, I'm just going to throw this out there. Sure. That this was going to be an erotic thriller. I did not know this, everybody. We have a very young woman with us. I feel very embarrassed. <laughs> I was held here. No, I'm He's over 18. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I'm 10 years over 18. I think I can yeah. handle it. I have no idea what to expect. No. Um, but the fact that Giovanni Ribisi was the photographer on this is awesome so yeah. i'm excited and i'll say as we're recording this this movie came out this past weekend so this is one that the movie's already out we usually don't do things that have already been posted but it, this is one that again like a lot of other indie films was released not limited i think it was in a thousand theaters so it's not a limited release but it's not you know your four thousand right. <laughs> theater. Yeah. so but it's one that potentially could grow and i think it had a very respectable opening weekend and okay. um with the help of us it'll definitely have a great second i mean tell me this video yeah. We're influencers. So. All right. Let's see the log line in that. Uh, yeah. Nothing see. is what it seems when a twisted one night stand spirals into a serial killer's vicious murder spree. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to be scary. This is going to be rough. And also, Max and I are not slasher fans. We're more the supernatural comedy or yeah. the slow burn. Um, I mean, listen, serial killer, Silence of the Lambs is a serial, serial killer movie that's amazing. Um, but yeah, this on the face of it doesn't seem like one that would appeal to me. I'm terrified. Let's I mean, here is not serial killer stuff. Yeah. So strange, darling. Okay, we we have a she's being wow. hunted quite clearly. It's quite the gun that he's uh, going on a murder spree with. No kidding. Devil's in the details. Little little you know underwhelming with the tagline. The um, thriller of its kind. I will say, from the producer of Barbarian and Late Night with the Devil, Late Night with the Devil is one of my favorite horror movies in recent vintage. Okay. All right. So, but that's also not a slasher. I don't know. So I, I still don't quite know what to see. I, I, I will say that I've read a different log line um, earlier before I knew we were going to cover this movie that talked about being out in the woods, which the, the gunman there makes it obviously that lines up, that she is a, like injured prey being stalked by someone oh it's like a predator prey thing yeah that's what that's what a different logline i read uh made me believe the logline i read made it seem inevitable that she's gonna die and if that's true why watch the movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah other than just don't do one night stands Is oh you see guy? yeah <laughs> From the I, I forgot that there's the the erotic element of this. <laughs> but imagine if this trailer is just all erotica, and we're just <laughs> you're watching I hope it. Not. I hope not. And um, I'll mention that the uh, the writer and director of this one is uh, J T. Molnar, um, who also came up doing a whole bunch of different short films. Uh, this is not his. I think this is just his second feature. Um, so again, it's a it's a newer uh, director newer writer and director uh who's obviously making a splash because if, if somehow you get giovanni ravisi to be your cinematographer that's yeah. going to get some headlines beyond any like already just full stop right there yeah, yeah. so all right well let's see what this i have a feeling like a true slasher is going to be like slumber party massacre kind of thing and i don't think it's going that far uh, and this does seem like it's more thriller 
with horror elements. Yeah, a lot of suspense. Um, yeah. yeah, well, here we go. Let's do it. Do you have any idea the kind of risks a woman like me takes every time she agrees to have a little fun? Never thought about it that way. Of course you haven't. You're not a woman. Easy. I can leave Sky. But the real issue is safety. That's life or tough. So I'm gonna have to ask you a question. Are you a serial killer? Here we go. What did you just say? Yeah, kitty, kitty. Change your hair color. You believe me? Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Going blind. No. Maybe I lied. You know you asked for this, right? Some fools can How did I get so lucky tonight? It with Ed Bagley Jr. <laughs> Ed Bagley Jr. It's certainly intriguing to say the yeah, least. Yeah, because I feel like they didn't give you enough information to hardly tell. anything. Yeah. yeah, so you really do have to go in blind. I th I think all of those blurbs, those review blurbs, were extraordinarily important because it does just look like a very run of the mill slasher that has just does not interest me at all. Right. Um. But. There's obviously something else going on. Well, she's got blonde hair in, in one portion, and then she's a redhead. Maybe she was just wearing a wig that night when she went yeah. out or something. Yeah. Um, but it was enough to confuse me. <laughs> so there is going to be a confusing element going on. I, for a second, I was like, is she the serial killer? That's what or... I was like. Is there like a twist in this? Because they're saying it's clever, and yeah. Yeah. it implies that there's going to be something off about it. It's like uh, Cabin in the Woods. Which is one of the great roller coaster horror movies, yeah. where, where they they even just said, I think their tagline was, "You think you know the story" or something along those lines. Yeah, but because it's oh man, what a journey you go on in that movie. Um, I wonder if this is. I'd be fine if there wasn't a twist like that. It's just I don't know what. I'm... Talk about going in blind. Like I have no idea what to expect from it. So, I'll yeah. watch. It. I'll watch it. I guess I'll have to. <laughs> it's so weird. It's just it's just so funny. Just obviously there's something unique and exciting about this movie. And I think visually it was already cool. Uh I love the the glow of the blue neon lights. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously they're doing some fun stuff with color in general, some very oversaturated moments here or there. Um so it's going to be a visual spectacle of some some degree. Uh, but there must be something else th that's getting everybody so excited about it. And I have right. no idea what it is. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is one that I would normally be terrified to see. And then I will absolutely love it. <laughs> like, I feel like it's one of those, like I've seen movies that I'm like, Oh my God, I can't watch that. It's so scary. And then because it's a thriller and I love thrillers, like I love oh, okay. it. like, I don't know, kind of off or there's a twist or something like that. So I, I don't know. It's the concept is scary to me. These are not normally things I'll watch because it's too real. <laughs> yeah, yeah right, right. Maybe I'll watch this in the comfort of my home. I yeah, this is not, not a theater a movie for me. Yeah. Some people would love to see this in the in the movie theater, and I hope you all do because we need to be supporting our movie theaters. But um, let us know if you're going to watch this movie, if you're intrigued by it, what you think the twist might be, um, and just you know in general what your thoughts are. I'm I'm curious. I'm very curious. You will see us all soon, maybe with or without Caitlin. We love having Caitlin on. I'm getting nixed after this one. Yeah, right. You're out. This was this was my choice to watch this one, so I, you know, I'm the one to blame. Well, um, you've got a Google alert for erotic, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't said on erotic. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll be back soon. Have a good one.